we made it to Uluwatu. Here we are. So this is the second day that I've, I've come here and I really felt like I needed to come back to get the, the shots that I really wanted and well to try again. I think that sometimes it's best to go to a location twice. You really get, you have a feel for it the first time and then maybe you can get some real fantastic shots the second time. So that's the bike. Let's hit it. Hello. This place is actually the cliffs of Uluwatu. It's an absolutely beautiful location. And I'm really glad I came back for a second day. We've got a sunny sky today. I was hoping for some cloud when I went, when I left. It was really cloudy and about to rain. And now we are sunny. There are a lot of mosquitoes around here. So I'm gonna be putting on some mosquito spray. Yeah. <laughs> this is the stuff in Bali, good stuff. some tourists here. Should be very nice though. Seventy, obviously. This a beautiful scene right there. Just gotta figure out how to capture this the way I want it without all the tourists in the way. I mean, I know the tourists are part of the scene here, but it'd be great to get some things with only the nature. this ledge first here see what's going on temple which we're gonna to go to a little later just want to soak in this beautiful scene first like I was saying it's real important to know the layout of a place first my first day I was just in awe of the whole thing and now I think that I've calmed down a little bit and I can see what other shots I can get Okay, maybe this is good with this little bit of foreground in here. Let's see what happens. Every corner I turn, I see another great shot. <laughs> I 
struggle in situations like this with the danger factor because I really, you know, have a vivid imagination and I can imagine myself or anybody falling off this thing and it really, really makes me, you know, take precautions, so. here that we can follow along the coast it's quite beautiful I'm really glad I got the mosquito spray <laughs> I think the great thing about this type of photography is coming back the second time to the location it really makes a big difference I think and you can evaluate your shots the first time from the first time also them to the second time I mean I think that's really invaluable I might be a little bit too much of a photo nerd here <laughs> but I think that's really cool afternoon <laughs> I'm gonna head out to the next location. It's beautiful, I've got the shots that you want. And uh, let's head over to the temple. Okay, so the sun is still high. We have a chance to get to the temple, see if we can get some sunset shots. Let's go. Clouds. 
far as sunset goes. So far we're foiled. So we'll let's see what's going on. Okay, big contrast here from the temple. We're going to a place called Single Fin. It's a very popular bar. <laughs> huh? Sorry? I don't understand. Sorry, man. I don't know what he's saying. Anyway, here we go. I just broke my slipper. Okay, Single Fin where the beautiful people hang out. Let's have a look. I hope the sunset is beautiful today. How you doing? Good, thank you. Respect? Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, looks like a super storm is coming. I 
I got a shot, a couple of shots of this tornado that's out in the water. This isn't footage from the way back, but the minute I hit stop on that GoPro, it started raining like you would not believe. Thunder, rain pouring down, unceremoniously, the video ends, <laughs> sorry. But you get a great idea of what this whole area looks like. Uluwatu is so beautiful. I had a fantastic time shooting it. I hope you enjoyed the shots. This video was recorded right before this whole coronavirus thing started happening. So I'm very happy I got it in. A few days later, I left Bali. It became too dangerous to stay any longer, and I felt it was best if I leave. It was with a heavy heart that I left, but I did have a fantastic time in Bali. Got some beautiful shots, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, please hit that like button, see you next time.